Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, and welcome to the Battle for Wesnoth. The Battle for Wesnoth is a free-to-play, turn-based, hex-based strategy game um, set in a fantasy world. Think Lord of the Rings, think Warhammer Universe, stuff like that. Um, I have already done two Let's Plays of this in the past. I have worked through two campaigns, a beginner one, rookie level campaign, and orcish incursion. And I've also worked through an intermediate level campaign, Descent into Darkness. If you're looking for um, an understanding of the basics of the game, or you're seeing this for the first time, I would recommend looking through my campaign on an orcish incursion, as I break down the game in detail to uh, four people that are beginners. Today, I'm going to be doing... The campaign Dead Water. If you are a beginner to Battle for Wesnoth and you'd like an understanding of how the game works, I would recommend you check out my previous scenarios as I will not be covering the basics of the game in this playthrough. But if you're someone who just wants maybe some entertainment or isn't really concerned about the nitty gritty details of everything, even if you haven't played the game, then you could still watch this as well. This campaign was a request from one of my subscribers and it is one of my favorite campaigns and i've completed it multiple times on the hardest difficulty and we are going to be playing this on the hardest difficulty which is going to be very hard well that's not the actual difficulty name but it is going to be very hard but before we get into that let's look at the background you are kai Krellis, son and heir of the last merman king but only a child a necromancer is turning your subjects into undead slaves. Lead your people on a mission to convince a powerful Mer sorceress to help you repel the invasion. The oceans near the northern lands are perilous, so you will need cunning and bravery to survive. But first, you need to gain the respect of your troops. Intermediate level campaign, 10 scenarios, but with four difficulties. You have beginner, normal, challenging, and difficult, and I will be playing at the hardest difficulty. The reason I'm playing at the hardest difficulty is because I did receive a request to play at the hardest difficulty. Um, and I believe for those that um, are newer to the game or those that are maybe intermediates, maybe some of the strategies I pull out here is something that will be useful to you guys. But without further ado, let's get into the campaign. In the far north, where the mountains of Dorth approach the coast, lies a bay with a narrow mouth. In the calm waters of this bay lies the merfolk city of Jotha. The natural harbor and the prosperity of the dwellers within drew many envious eyes, but none could match the prowess of the merfolk in their aquatic domain. In most years, orcs from the port city of Tiragaz, further north, would raid against Jotha as predictably as the spring rains. Always, they were driven back to dry land with heavy losses, the salt water of the bay stinging their wounds. In 626 year, uh, in the 626th year of Wesnoth, Jotha was attacked by a larger raiding party than ever before. The king Kai Lotus led his troops to repel the raiders. They were successful, but merfolk casualties were greater than usual, and numbered with the slain was the wife of Kai Lotus. The Kai's grief was great, but his wrath was also fearsome to behold. He readied his army to follow the orcs. His stated purpose was not revenge, but the, de but the desire to secure the safety of Jotha with a demonstration of force that would teach the orcs to steer well clear of the merfolk. The merfolk army caught up with the orc band as it reached Tiragaz. Under the cover of darkness, the merfolk slid into the bay, intending to launch a surprise attack at dawn. But the orcs were prepared for this, and had hastily devised a surprise of their own. Ships at the mouth of the bay that had seen but derelict hulks disgorged hordes of orcs. More of them poured forth from the city. The merfolk were trapped and found themselves vastly outnumbered. Kylotus's army fought fiercely, slaying five orcs for every warrior they lost. The Kai himself fought with reckless abandon. Foes fell with each swing of his great mace. The orcs discovered that trapped merfolk were tougher than they had imagined, and found themselves fleeing into the forest to escape their vengeful spears. As the Kai had intended, it was a defeat the orcs would not soon forget. But the cost was heavy. Kylotus was felled by a poisoned orcish dart, and the greater part of his army was destroyed. When the remaining soldiers returned to Jotha, Krellis, the young son of Kylotus, learned that he had become Kai. 
Kai Krellis felt too young for the responsibilities of a kingdom, so he relied on the wisdom of a priestess named Silena. She had been a friend of his father, and he had known her as long as he could remember. Silena mourned the former Kai, but believed that his sacrifice would allow Krellis to preside over an age of peace. Unfortunately, that was not to be. A new enemy appeared from under the mountains. And here we are, the Bay of Jotha invasion. Is something wrong, Priestess? Maybe. I smell death and decay. Back, you fiend! You have not won! I will return to finish this. Kai, we are under attack. Fell creatures invaded our village and slew without mercy. I managed to fight my way clear and have come to seek your aid. What manner of creatures were they? I have never seen their like before in all my years. They were like men, but they had no skin. Our spears went right through them. They laughed at our weapons, and they smelled like nothing in the sea of dank earth and rottenness. Undead, this will be your first real test as a leader, Kai Krellis. You must defeat these creatures. Kai, please lead us against them yourself. It will hearten the folk. And if you will permit, you reach the age now where a Kai must learn battle skills. Wabo speaks wisely. You must fight. I will protect you as much as I can, but when war looms, a Kai must lead. It is our way. You have few trained fighters. You can only recruit three of each level one unit. There, there is no limit on citizens. Alright, so we need to defeat the enemy leader. So, first thing I'm going to do is actually adjust my settings and turn up the volume. Just volume of the music just a little bit here. Okay, so we only have three of each of these three units. The Mermaid Initiate, the Merman Fighter, and the Merman Hunter. Mermaids, Mermaid Citizens are level zero, meaning they cost no upkeep. Um, that said, we do have infinite versions of them, but they are not that strong. They are very good against skeletons because they punch with their fists, and the fists are a melee attack, well, melee impact attack. However, um, that's all they have. So... There's a few different ways you can go about winning this scenario. Um, what you'll notice is there are tons and tons of villages around the map, and there will something will happen when the AI or the enemy moves onto one of these villages, which you guys will see shortly. For now, I'm going to try and capture them in a bid to get my income a little bit higher here. I think we're going to send this guy south here, and I think we're going to send... This guy can get there in two turns. That is perfect. Because he is quick. Um, let's see. This guy... So he's going to capture this one, then that one, then that one. This guy will go... I don't want to waste the extra turn there. That's a lot of time. I think I'm going to go here, capture this, and then slide down the coast. Uh, this guy here. So this guy's here. He's going to then push back up because he can't hold the one on land and probably capture some of the ones up here. This citizen, I think, is going to capture that to start. Wabo just needs to heal ASAP. This citizen, I think we're going to get in position. And we're going to get Selena out of the bay. So Kai Krellis starts off as level 0. All he has is a 4-3 melee impact attack. Decent against skeletons, but he only has 22 HP. Meaning, this is not going to be easy. Alright. Um... And it is within our best interest to level up Kai, as this will be required. It'll be required to have him at least level 1 uh, at the end of the next scenario. And the next scenario is not really one you want to be leveling your king in. One thing I will say, uh, Mermaid Initiates are extremely, extremely important, as they can level up both into healers. It might not show here. Yeah, healer, Mermaid Priestess, or a heavy damage healer. Where's the back button? There we go. Mermaid Enchantress, which each of these have a level 3 version, um, and these units are very, very important. Enchantresses are very, very good, um, turning into Sirens, very, very good against Undead as their uh, magical attack is impact. And additionally, the Priestesses, like Silana here, um, her ranged attack is Arcane, so both are very, very good against Undead. And the healing is, of course, very much welcome. Merman Fighters were also going to want to level, and... Merman Hunters are decent, however their pierce isn't amazing, but when you level them up into a netcaster like Guabo here is, um, they can be quite good. For now, I think we're going to recruit our three of each here. 
want to get a formidable fighting force out onto the field quickly as the enemy is going to begin creating their own army. Rise, my slaves, we will create an army for Lord Ravenal. So, here we go. He is raising our dead to fight against us. Even though they were your own citizens, Krella, show no mercy. Destroy them if you can. So, this is what's going to happen. Every single time they capture a village, they are going to get recruits, which is very bad for us. Um, what this means is that with all these villages here that they capture, they're going to get a flood of recruits, and it's going to be very difficult to, uh, to try and hold these waters. So, additionally, right now it's day, um, and they're probably going to hit us at nighttime, which is going to be hard to withstand, especially because the majority of their force is going to be these level 1 Solus, which are 7-3 um, melee impact plague attacks. Which means whenever they kill someone, they also turn them into a walking corpse, like this guy. Um, or in this case, I guess, a swimming corpse. Um, but additionally, that attack raises to 9-3 at night, which is not good. This reef is going to be our defensive position. We're going to have to hold this reef at all costs. And ideally, we do not let them capture this, uh, this village either. However, there is a possibility that they will be able to capture it. We're going to get... Um, Let's see, another... Let's get a Merman Hunter. And I need some more bait on the lines. I don't think I need another Merman Hunter for now. I'm going to recruit some more citizens. I need people who can sow kits. This terrain, Coastal Reef, is very, very good for Merman because, um, because it has a high defensive value of 70%. Um, okay, so he's going to stay here. I don't think I want to contest the skeleton. Actually, I may be able to. 6-3? You know what? Let's go for it. Also, normally, when I've played this scenario in the past, they like to spawn a lot of bats, and that's not the case here, which is interesting. But if I can stop this guy from capturing this village, that would actually be of significant help. My top priority here is going to be leveling Krellus and leveling an Initiate, at least. We have Silana, so we're probably going to go for an Enchantress, but let's see. Anyone else I need to move? Does not look like it. Okay, so he's going on to more favorable terrain. Some good punches. Nice. Good hits, good hits. Now we'll have to see what he does with these archers. These archers are going to be a little annoying. Um, yeah, okay, there's the bats. The blood bats can be quite annoying because not only do they come out um, and attack, but a lot of the time they'll prioritize villages and they'll, there will quickly be a horde of, um, a, a horde of undead ready to strike at us. Okay, so these guys are straggling. There, you can see they recruited a whole bunch here. This guy's going to recruit some more. This village, of course, they can't get any more from. And the blood bats are probably going to capture these two villages here and spawn some normal walking corpses. So we're going to quickly be overwhelmed. Now, earlier I mentioned on there being uh, two strategies to defeating this level. The first strategy is to kind of capture and hold as many uh, outside villages as you can. Um, just recruiting hordes and hordes of citizens with the, with the income you gain. Um, for difficult, I'm not a fan of that strategy because there's just there's just too many. There's so many recruits that they get, it's almost impossible to hold everything. So what I prefer is while the AI is busy capturing all these outside villages, is uh, running in through the middle and going for their lord. Now, the one issue I'm going to run into is if I attack this guy when he comes out, then I am away from this reef. And then these guys are going to be able to circle in the turn after it, which is bad. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the line right here. We're going to have our initiates in the back. We are going to get our merman fighters here. We're going to bring this guy here. And we're going to get... I think we're going to keep the citizens there. I'll have the merman fighters here because I want them to do a lot of retaliation damage. Um, and we're good for now. We're not going to be attacking till the turn after next turn. Aside from our damage against that skeleton, but he's gonna ooh, he's going back to heal. That's good actually, that delays that. He's the raising the dead. He's raising the dead from every village. This will be a dark day, but we will prevail. Yeah, there we go. Bats heading out to the mountains to spawn some more corpses. They're going there, gonna spawn some more walking corpses. Thankfully, these guys aren't as great in the water. And here we go, their army pushes forth. We cannot meet this charge. Um, not at night, which is about to be. 
We're, we just have to wait till they kind of move out into the water a little bit and then strike at them. Okay, so I'm going to capture this. They're probably going to slowly move over here and maybe I'll move this guy over after. This guy's going to capture that. This guy's coming down to join the front. Okay. Now, how many people can they attack? Not too, too many. Guabo's almost fully healed. He can attack the citizen, which he might go for, but if he does do that, that's good. I can easily surround him and eliminate him. Uh, let's see. Actually. I think I'll put Silena here. I have this citizen here. He'll go... Well, he doesn't need to actually be on the village, so he'll go behind. Uh, let's see. Resilient and strong is a pretty nice combination. Well, strong isn't that great, but I like resilient because it'll make our uh, mermaids a little more likely to survive a bad turn. This guy, unfortunately, is looking like he's going to die if he sits there. The problem is if I leave, he's going to spawn a horde of units. Which is not good. 7-3. He can only take 3 hits and he's only got a 60% chance. But they're going to immediately spawn a horde. I might just have to weather the storm, because he's going to die regardless. Let's think, let's think. So he's going to go up and capture that. Yeah, this isn't good. Because if he spawns that, that could be two, three more soulless, and at night time, that's going to be brutal. But it's probably going to happen anyways. I don't think I have a choice here. Can these guys get to it? None of them can. Only the bat can. So maybe if I leave this guy a little isolated, the bat will prioritize him. And then they won't capture it for another turn, which will be good. Because that'll waste... Well, it's not going to waste the turn of night. But that'll mean an extra turn before they get to the freight. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Three hits. The power of 70% defense. This guy came in exactly where he wanted him to. That's good. Two retaliation hits. Alright, one hit. Okay, perfect. He's going out to attack the citizen. Bats are really good um, for the initiates to strike as they're not very strong. They don't have much health, and I believe they have a, a negative resistance to impact attacks. So this bats now, now they're going to start moving out to this set of villages. They haven't captured this port yet, so I might actually, depending on where these guys move, move back there to hold it for another turn so that they can't recruit on it. Okay, it is now night. We have our citizens going around capturing villages. Perfect. Okay. So, first things first, let's get an initiate uh, some XP. 7-2 here. Perfect. 4-3. If he can hit, 2 hits. Well, 2 hits is ideal. Okay, 1 hit. Okay, we'll have him go over here to hold. He needs to go heal. Okay, so 8-3. I have 2 resilient and strong ones. We'll go in with uh, Dermarno here. First. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest. 4-3, the drain's stronger, though. Well, first, let's go in with Guabo here. No, nothing. Okay, kind of rough. Let's get our healer in. We'll go for a 6-4. Okay, oh, but we may be able to snag a kill with Moriel here. That is not great. Already starting off with a banger with tons of missed attacks. Not good at all. Okay, going to move him here so the bat can't escape. Now, we cannot go on the offensive in the night. We cannot push out into the water. We cannot just attack this Solus here. Because 9-3, we cannot afford to take that damage no matter what the risk. This, I also don't want to do. Now, thankfully, they can only attack with a max of three units here. We're just going to have to keep pumping out Merman recruits. Try and hold the line. Going to get another guy up front here. Hopefully the skeleton just kind of chills. Doesn't really do much damage. This guy, he's probably going to have to try and hold one of these villages. 
Yeah, probably. So we'll move him next turn. Okay, he's up there holding that village. No one else up top. Alright, starting off with a banger. A lot of missed shots. Oh, please. Just defend as long as you can, buddy. Okay, we took a loss. That's now bad, because now he's on very defensible terrain. And if he hits three, that's awful. Thankfully did not. The bat's going to go in. Okay, and he's going to live. This terrain... Ooh. Wow, okay, that's good. Because that means we can get a good um, kill in. Hopefully, for an initiate this time. Yeah, there. One bad turn. He's... Wow, okay. Took all the shots. Okay, that's some good retaliation damage. These guys not great in the water. The bat's gonna come in for the finisher. Hopefully he does not finish. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Very good, very good. Okay, so we lost one more merman fighter right away. Not great. First turn of night is over. We have taken, what, one casualty or two casualties? We've lost two. One Merman Citizen, one Merman Fighter. Yikes, all those first turn misses kind of sucked, but... Okay, so Kai, he can do 3-3. Three, three. So it's possible, actually, he can't get to the bat. Never mind, it's not possible. Oh, thank heavens. Finally hit something. There we go, okay, two kills. One of these guys is going to be a healer, one of them is going to be a, um, an enchant or uh, enchantress, I think? I don't quite remember. Enchantress. Okay, so this is bad. Uh, we're going to need Silena here to try and get this guy off. So let's get Silena. 6 4. She needs to hit 3, and based on our past luck, that hasn't been great. No, we can't go on the offensive. I can't put her in that much danger. We take him off. We just have to hold the line. We don't really have a choice here. You know, we're going to put Guabo. Maybe he can get a slow off. No. Okay. Sorry. Not the end of the world. Okay. He's going to go there. He's going to go heal here. We don't. We can't put our Hunter on the front line. That risks him just dying. He's kind of stuck there. We can't go on the offensive with him. Let's get a Magic Spray in here. Good. And we'll go on the offensive with him. Okay. Um, he only does 7-2, so we can probably get that kill, and we're not risking him too much. Okay. An okay start. This isn't terrible. I don't want to risk a, a, uh, a hunter by putting him here, because it's possible he gets hit by two people on 60% defense terrain without much retail damage. So that's not good. This guy can go in for the initiate, but that's not a huge deal. Meanwhile, Krellis, let's recruit some more units. We just need to keep swelling our ranks. And let's get him close to the fray. Hopefully next turn, as it will be dawn, he can dart in for a kill opportunity. And we'll put him here, actually. Okay, he's going to need to go up there to capture. He is going to go there to capture. Okay, we want the bat not to capture something, but to attack this guy instead. Alright, so as I said, can't go on the offensive with these guys. The risk of them taking too much damage is too great. Okay, they did kill him. Okay. Come on, buddy. Nice. Good hits. Okay. They're both going for this guy. Him sitting there is fine. He's now surrounded. Oh, the bat got through. Bat did not kill him, but there's another bat. Alright, that's fine. Absolutely fine if the bats want to sit back there. Next turn is dawn, we're going to be looking for a very good offensive. And if these guys just spawn now, that's fine. Okay, perfect, he's going here. We delay spawning down here. Yeah, because they're spawning at dawn now, when we can mount a counterattack instead of at night. And the bats coming up here to spawn more. We have an army of skeletons slowly moving up the coast. Okay, but he's out of money, so we're fine. Okay, Dawn, yay. Progress to be made. Alright, so Kai Krellis. We really want to get him a kill. 
this guy looks like the best opportunity at doing so. So let's see how we can accomplish that. The Hunter. 4-2 will definitely kill him. 4-3, we only need two hits. We can 4-3 and then defend him with our lives. Yes. Okay. Hey, I did it. Good work, Kai, if I may say so. Okay, so now we just gotta defend him with everything we have. Alright. Silena. Yeah, we gotta defend him with everything. Let's get some slows on the skeleton. Beautiful. Good slows, good slows. 5-3. Boom, good hits. Okay. We can mount a little bit of a counter-offensive now. Um, let's see. So she can go in for the 8-2. Misses everything. Classic. Okay. These bats will need to die, though. Uh, Silena's gonna come in here, actually. One. Okay, not... Terrible. Well, if not die, they'll need to, um... We'll need to guard Kai. Krellis. Let's get a hunter in here. Put him on Krellis's uh, northwestern flank. Okay, now we have two initiates. Let's see if we can get a kill here. Finally, hit two shots. It's looking a little bit better. Okay. We can go in here, maybe pick up a kill. Alright, it's okay. Come on, buddy. Nope, didn't quite make it. Let's get the kill, hopefully. Yes. Okay, meat shields need to activate. We'll put the 5 3 here. Nope, didn't quite work out. 4 3. Okay, not bad. Let's go for the 8 2. Oh boy. Okay. Can the bats get in? Yes, they can. Now they cannot. Okay, I think we are alright. This is good. This guy cannot get to that village yet. He's just going to sit there and be a distraction. This guy, I think I just need to bring him to the front at this point. This guy's chilling up here. Ooh, I can actually kill this bat. Maybe? Maybe we can kill it. Okay, one shot, no retal. That's fine. This guy's trapped. He's going to die next turn. Hopefully. And Kai Krellis is protected. Eesh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she might actually just die. Yeah, okay. That was a little bit too aggressive. I was hoping we might be able to get the kill there, but... Led to her death. That's a shame. We still have our second one. She's intelligent. Okay, come on, buddy. Nice. He's going around. Ooh, very good hit there. That's opening up for a kill. That's good, too. The bat didn't fly further up the coast. Yep, good job. He's going to heal. That's fine. This bat's going back to heal for some reason. That's not good, though. But next turn, it's fully daytime, so hopefully we can clear out a decent amount of these guys. They do have a lot, though. So it is not going to be easy. We have $46. Can't quite make it back to the keep. Alright, so she's going to immediately go in and go for 12. Perfect. She's going to come in, go for 12 too. Almost gets it. 9-3? Beautiful. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Selena needs to come in here and go 10-4. Hopefully kill. Perfect. He's going to come here and go for 6-3. Maybe kill. 
Not quite. Let's go for a punch. Nope. Try here. There we go. This guy's coming in to defend. Okay. This area up here is a little bit shaky. 5-3 against 7-3 is not great odds. We're going to go in here because he's going to die anyways. If he can get some damage off before he dies, that would be wonderful. Let's go in for a 6-3. Perfect. Skeleton's dead. He can go in to kill this skeleton, hopefully. Oh, so close. Well, Guabo can come out here, 13-2. Beautiful. Okay. How many mouch movements? Six? One, two, three, four, five, six. He can't get back yet. We're going to put Krellis on a village so he can recruit next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and then after that, we're going to move out. It's 5-3. Let's do it. It's okay. Let's bring this guy out. 5-3. One hit. That's okay. This guy can come in. Well, he's kind of guarding Krellis. Kind of. But I don't think he needs to. This guy, on the other hand, we don't want to die. This guy needs to move. Can't be killed. Krell he comes up there to heal. He might attract some attention. But that will be okay, because we can hopefully slip past. Let's go back down here to finish the kill. This guy's almost leveled. So is this guy. He's probably dead, though. But as you can see, we cleared out a number of soldiers there, which is really good. And our Mermaid Initiate is slowly on her way to becoming an Enchantress. Yeah, good. At least he wasn't killed by um, one of the walking corpses. Oh, what a legend. Beautiful. Come on, get some retail damage. No, none. Two. Good dodges, man. Beautiful. Okay, he's gonna die. Yeah. Okay. Okay, she's alive. Bad spot for the skeleton. 30% defense only. Come on, get some retail hits. There we go. Yeah, not great. That was going to happen. Okay, so we have another turn of full day. We need to keep on the offensive here. Silena healing up the troops. Alright, now it is time to recruit an army of Merman citizens. Yep, yep, and we'll get a hunter. And then Kykrellis is going to be on the move. Okay, you, can you get this kill? Hopefully. Oh my gosh. Ay, 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 ay. Where can these guys move? Basically everywhere. Why don't you go for a 6-3 here? Oh, I was really hoping they could finish. Okay. Silena, why don't you go in on this guy? That's not bad, actually. We can maybe get the kill and level. Yes, we can. What we are going to do is get a Brawler. Brawler's going to level up. Now, he can't level up any further into new units, but he gets a 6-4 impact attack, which is very, very good against Undead. Okay. This guy's going to need to die. Not going to be today, apparently. Now, she is in a lot of trouble. 12 2, possibility of the kill, but it's not that great of a possibility. 13 2. 
double miss. Man, he only has 40% defense. Not liking these rolls. You're going to go in and level. And we're going to get a second brawler. Let's just go gun ho. Yeah, 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 all right. All right. Well, let's cover it with that. Let's try and get the kill here, maybe. And with this guy. Nice. Good. Okay, that well, that was needed. Go for the kill here. Beautiful. This guy is swimming for his... Well, shuffling across the sand for his life. This guy is just going to hold that village to the last... Uh, of him, really. Good kill. Attack this guy while he's in the water. Okay, two hits, not bad. Will she be dead? I don't think so. I don't think they can get to her. Actually, that guy can. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll have one initiate living. And hopefully we'll get another one close to leveling in the next scenario. Unless she makes a miracle defense. Probably first move, maybe. Yeah. E oh, she lives. She lives. Okay. We're okay. After all the crappy luck we've had, that's that's at least nice. Beautiful job, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Hold on. Just a little bit longer. Dang. Alright, well, three people to kill him is better than... You know, one person killing him. Oh, come on, buddy. No! That's fine. Nice. This guy's gonna be in trouble, but we already knew that. He's also gonna be in trouble. We'll just escape into the water, though. We'll have a firefight here, but now you can see we basically thinned out most of their forces here. And what we can do is the second strategy, which is push down and blitz the king while they're all busy up here. Bat. Yeah, just attack. Perfect. No more spawns, please. Oh, well, this guy's now screwed. Not completely unexpected, though. Okay. Alright, so unfortunately... At this point in the video, it's already been about half an hour, and in order to prevent my upload time from being ridiculous, I'd like to keep episodes to a max of like 30 to 40 minutes. And the whole episode, after I finished recording it, went over an hour, so I'm going to be splitting it into about 30 and a little bit minutes uh, chunks, and upload both um, hopefully soon. Obviously, you're seeing the first one now, the second one hopefully in two days. So yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.